In this video, I'm going to talk about the logical coordinate system and uh, how we approximate it um, using device coordinates. So, um, we've mentioned before that um, the logical coordinates um, are based on the Cartesian coordinate system where we have, um, we plot real numbers on a coordinate system um, with the, for quadrant one the origin is in the bottom left corner y values go up uh, in the positive direction and to the right in the uh, x values go to the right in the positive direction for device coordinates um, the origin is in the upper left corner and the um, x coordinates still go increase to the right but the y coordinates increase going down so there are so there are two things that we need to be concerned with one is uh, and uh, um, oh the other thing I forgot to mention about the device coordinates is these are integer values because we're talking about pixels right so they're they're individual these are discrete individual pixels going down here and um, in the logical coordinate system these are uh, real values, so this is a continuous um, set of values here. So, let's see, what does that mean here? So basically, then, um, yeah, there are two things we need to worry about. One is the the direction of the axis, right? So in logical, in the logical coordinate system, our um, positive axis, y-axis goes up, upward and in the uh, device coordinate system the positive y-axis goes downward okay and then the other thing is with logical with the logical coordinate system the value domain is continuous with the device uh, coordinate system it's discrete so what we do for the device um, coordinate system is we use integers integer values for all our x's and y's which makes sense because um, they're all discrete values. Um, in um, the logical coordinate system, we use floats, um, which really just approximate um, continuity, right? If, well, if we couldn't store all the real numbers, even between 0 and 1, there's an infinite number of real numbers, so we can't have actual real numbers, but we can have um, much better precision uh, we can we can do a lot better than integers using floats for our, our um, data types. Um, so oh, and then um, the lowercase letters, uppercase letters convention. We'll we'll see as we um, look at the code in a second here. Um, and basically, to reverse the. Um, direction of the of the axis we're subtracting our our max y minus y so let's see oh and then um, when we actually need to convert from um, logical to device um, the author talks about two different strategies rounding and truncating um, to me, really, um, rounding is the one that uh, well, rounding is the one that's used throughout the book, and rounding is really the one that makes sense to me because um, you're guaranteed to um, you know have have the closest approximation uh, to your float if you use rounding, right? If you round um, 2.8, you get a three. That's closer to 2.8 than if you truncate and and get a two. Uh, so th those are the so oh yeah so let's look what that see what that looks like in code here so actually this is the um, triangles um, example from where is it section 1.3 um, and you can see right here this is the uh, these are the um, methods used to convert from um, 
logical coordinates to device coordinates. And um, in this um, in this program, the, what's happening is we're using um, really the the reason we need to have um, this conversion is that we are um, using these um, multipliers to um, and we end up getting fractional um, values for for the coordinates um, so um, so yeah so I think in the next video I want to start diving into this code there's some uh, cool stuff to learn here so that's what we'll look at next